Alright, so we're in our cave now. I'm gonna mine out more of this coal. It's always good to mine out coal, because you'll need it not only for smelting, but making more torches, and obviously, as you can see, torches are helpful in restricting mob spawns. Uh, so I'm just gonna dig this out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into this cave system here and see if I can't get myself down to layer 16 or less. If I can't, I'm gonna come back to my little stairwell here and uh, see if I can't just dig down to layer 16 and find some diamonds. Oh boy, okay. Try to light this place up so there are fewer mob spawns in here whenever I want to come in here and check stuff out. That's always an important thing. Bring torches with you. Light up caves. Again, as you find resources, once you once you feel it's safe, always mine it out. So we're going to mine out some more iron. We're going to need it. Okay, so we got 22 iron ore. I think we're pretty well set. Let's see if we can't get ourselves further down. We've got a creeper. If you don't know what creepers are, you better know what creepers are. They blow up. Got to get them good. Get them good. Whew. Got them before he blew up. So here's a great tip that I had a friend give to me. Um, and I've actually followed it almost habitually or uh, instinctively at this point. When you're getting into cave systems, you can often get lost. So what a friend told me once, uh, when he's going into cave systems, he likes to always place torches on the right side of caves, cave walls as he's going through it. That way, if he ever has to spin around and gets lost, he's trying to find his way back, always follow caves uh, where the torches are on your left. So like right now, if I wanted to head back, I would look, Oh, all these torches are on the left wall, so I just keep heading this way. Um, I've done that rather instinctively, and usually, um, you can see I'm still on the left wall, still on the left wall, and now it's led me back to an area where I can easily recognize it. Uh, this is where I came through originally. So there we go. Uh, I led myself back just by always placing torches on the right wall as I went through it. So let's keep going. Okay, so I'm not satisfied that these caves are really going to get down to uh, the deep layers of the earth quickly enough. So I'm just going to head back to my little staircase and dig down to layer 16 and dig around. And hopefully that's satisfactory for everyone. So I just realized that I hadn't made mention of why I'm trying to get diamonds or get into the nether for that matter. I want to get into the nether because uh, what we need to do is find another fortress to get uh, blaze rod from blazes. Once we do that, we can get blaze powder, and then we can kill endermen to get uh, the ender pearl. You can craft those two together to get the eye of ender. That's going to allow us to locate the end portals, um, and that's the biggest key. Because as I said at the beginning of this uh, fortress or beginning of this uh, series, uh, getting to one of the end end portals right away is going to be pretty critical. Uh, I got plenty of iron. I'm actually I'm going to smelt this iron. I'll get back to you guys. I did forget to tell you guys that when it is nighttime and you have a bed, you should sleep in it. This, uh, when you sleep in it, it sets the time to day. You see it's daytime outside now. And it also sets your home point. So um, it means if you die, you're going to respawn at your bed. And that's pretty critical. So it's daytime. I'm smelting the coal, or smelting the iron. I'm basically smelting it because I want to get... Um... Oh, they're burning. <laughs> um, I want to get some armor, some full iron armor just so I can go after some endermen uh, at this point I think I'm gonna have to wait till nighttime to go after some endermen this stuff's still smelting so I'm gonna let it smelt so I'm gonna dig down for more diamonds here we go so I just came across something that uh, gave me realization that regardless of how I build another another portal um, I'm gonna need uh, flint and steel which is basically an iron ingot and uh, some flint you can only get flint really well, you can get it sometimes from villages and chests, but you can get it from gravel here. So I dug out some gravel, got a piece of flint. So now that I have that, I'm happy. I'm going to keep moving on. And I guess I'll keep you with me this time around. Um, we're getting close to... Oh, I hate gravel. Okay. This is why you always bring building blocks with you. Not that you won't acquire some as you're digging. But um, we're going to see if we can't get down layer 16 here. Ooh, I'm hearing lava. That's another important thing. That's uh, going to be our second method of uh, creating the nether portal. Oh, I'm loving that I'm hearing lava right now. It makes it so much easier for you guys. 
Let me see here. It's getting kind of dark here. I don't want mobs to spawn inside my staircase. Ooh, that lava sounds close. And I hear water, too. That's great. That means there might be obsidian nearby. It means there might be an open cave. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we hit the jackpot here. And maybe, there, maybe there's even diamonds nearby, too. This would be great. Let's see if I can't safely, it's important, safely get my way down here. All right, big open cave system, right down at the sweet sweet spot. Uh, not seeing any diamonds, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna explore this cave system a little bit. Okay, so I managed to f to kill a skeleton and get a bow, and that's gonna be helpful because bows are gonna help me fight skeletons. So uh, I might have to head up my, to my base just to collect all of the. Uh, Whatchamacallit, the arrows that I've collected at this point. Again, i got to remember, keep lighting this area up. Don't want to have to battle against mobs. Plenty of coal down here. That's good. Okay. Still not seeing any diamonds. Really trying to be careful about where I walk. Gonna drop down here. For those of you who don't know about it, the shift key, the shift key allows you to walk slowly and tip over edges without falling over. It's pretty key. Again, I could accidentally fall into this lava here, or get pushed into it by mobs. Uh, That's why I want to keep my F3 screen open and be very careful. So it's kind of unfortunate. I haven't found any diamonds yet, just in open cave systems down here. I was incredibly fortunate to have found uh, this in the first place. Okay, folks, so we didn't find any diamonds just by exploring the cave system down here, but we did find lava with water flowing over it and giving us obsidian to mine out. Uh, but my iron pick is starting to reach the end of its life. We're going to have to craft another one. Um, I was fortunate enough to get another bow, so we can get this into one big bow here now. Um, and basically, I just want to return to the top. Okay, so we're topside again. Uh, smelting my gold, I'm going to pick up the rest of my iron here. Um, it is nighttime now, so I want to craft the rest of my armor. Get a new iron pick. There we go. I'll even toss that one aside. Whoops. Not that one. This one. There we go. Put everything else away. <clears throat> We're going to take these potatoes. I'm going to take... Really? I'm going to keep just one of them. I'm going to cook the rest. There we go. Um, we're going to put on our iron armor. It is nighttime. I have slept in my bed. We have iron armor. I am ready to go see if we can't find some endermen. Found a lot of skeletons. Uh, I'm going to check out the, uh, the desert here, because sometimes endermen like to spawn in the desert. Um, because we're going to want enter pearls, and they're hard to come by. We're going to want to get those as, good as, as quick as we can. I'm chopping down these trees because I want to make ladders to get down into my mining area much more quickly. So I'm going to try to take out some trees and at the same time defend myself from baddies. I'll get back to you guys if I find um, any endermen. In the meantime, you guys... M oh, I found one. I found one. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's the difficult part about fighting endermen. is You're going to have to probably fight off a number of other bad guys. Uh, okay. So, I'm out of arrows. Fuck! Okay. Whoa, boy. Okay. Let's go around the other way. So here's one way you can get Endermen to come right to you. I'm going to get away. Oh, God. This is going to get bad real quick. So I'm just going to run. <laughs> For a second. And try to run in a circle around that Enderman. I'm just trying to break uh, combat with some of those other guys. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Okay. See if I look. Oh, there's a witch, too. We got a bad situation here, folks. There are way too many guys here. I might have to bail on this. Uh. Okay, I broke combat. Um, I'm going to see if I can't get aggro of this Enderman just by looking at him. Bring him to me. He warped away. All right. Remember, jump for critical attacks. Get him. 
I got him. I got an ender pearl. Oh man, that was fortunate. Okay. I got an ender pearl. Ender pearls do have. Don't don't do. Oh, she's gonna. Witch, dirty witch. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's kill a spider. Oh, there's a creeper. Hi, creeper. No, don't blow up. Okay. Ah! They're coming from everywhere. We have to get back to safety, folks. Serpentine. Serpentine. There we go. All right. Um, a lot of baddies around my base. Not exactly happy about that. Oh, boy. Uh, run for it. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, okay, let's just try to break combat with them. Make them go away for a second. Okay, so we got an ender pearl. So this makes uh, our next step even more important about getting diamonds, so we can get in the end or in the nether. Actually, I might just jump into the nether right away now uh, without getting the diamonds. Um, so I'll explain it. Instead of going to get the diamonds, I'll explain what the diamonds would get us. If we could get the diamonds, we could get um, a diamond pickaxe, and that would allow us to mine out obsidian. Obsidian is basically does not form naturally in the world, unless you consider what I just found down here to be a natural formation. Uh, basically what happens in the game world is water sources spawn, lava spawns, and then water pours over lava and creates obsidian. That's this really tough block here. Uh, iron picks can break obsidian, but they don't drop the loot. So we need the loot out of it. So we need a diamond pick to do that. But there is a method. That method requires buckets, which we can craft with iron, uh, and a lava source nearby. So let's go get some buckets. Okay, so we're back topside, and I do have some baked potatoes that cooked. I'm going to go ahead and sleep and make it daytime so that all those baddies out there go away. There we go. Now I feel better. We also need some buckets. I just happen to have just enough iron to do this. Thank goodness. I'm going to craft two buckets. There we go. we got two buckets. We're going to fill one with lava and one with water. Uh, and we got to get down to that water and lava. Uh, so let's go do that. What I'm going to do here is I had the spiral staircase, and I'm just going to suffer some damage here and dig down and then build back up. But we're going to need a building block here, so let's grab the building block. There we go. Two just to be safe. We won't need two. Here we go. Digging down. This is another tip, by the <gasps> way, to never dig down. Never dig down. <laughs> I might be able to, uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, so, uh, I broke rule number one, uh, and rule number two. I, rule number one being never dig down, never dig straight down, no matter how confident you are, never dig straight down. I guess unless you are super confident, 100% confident, you're not going to dig into friggin' lava, um, like I just did. And rule number two was I... I definitely did, for the sake of this video, uh, grab an N NBT editor to uh, to save myself, because I was an idiot. All right, so uh, we do have a shaft here that we can use. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a platform. Why don't we? All right, up we go. Oh, okay, so we've built a ladder all the way up to the top of our base. We have a bucket of water, and now we just need a bucket of lava. So I grabbed my obsidian. I um, have that right here. I also wanted to grab my flint, and I'm smelting the rest of my iron because I'm going to need flint and steel. This is, by the way, a shapeless recipe now, so you can move these wherever you want, but this used to be the original recipe. There we go. I have flint and steel. I have some obsidian blocks. I have a water bucket. Uh, I'm just going to toss that in there. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm still a little shook up from that digging down situation. It was not a good thing. Um, so anyways, let's get down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these obsidian blocks I was able to snag from the village uh, to build the more difficult parts of this, if we're going to do it the tricky way, first. So I'm going to put those two obsidian blocks there. 
And then I'm going to place three more here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to place the other two right here. One, two. There we go. Now I need three more obsidian blocks. And I, uh, I just realized I screwed myself. Um, yeah. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to create obsidian with just water and lava. Uh, I actually can grab another bucket put it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place water on top of these uh, lava blocks and then l pick it right back up with the, bu with the empty bucket right away. And there you go. I've got some obsidian. So now I just need to uh, make sure that I'm only uh, putting lava blocks in the locations where I'm going to need obsidian. I'm going to place it there. Pick it up. There we go. we got another piece of obsidian. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place that there. We're going to need a stairway to get up there. Get another lava bucket. Put it right there. Obsidian. We just need one more. Okay, so let's get this last one. One more lava bucket. Jump up here. Place it right there. Water there. And there we go. We've got ourselves uh, the skeleton, the frame of the nether portal. So if you can get obsidian blocks in this configuration, this configuration only, well, uh, <laughs> that's a lie. Um, at least in this configuration, 10 blocks, so three on either side and four with two above and below, leaving a two by three region in the middle. All you have to do is light any part of this and you've opened the nether portal. There you go. Uh, we're gonna wanna bring this thing with us, uh, that's for sure. We're really not bringing anything else vital. So let's dive in here and see if we can find ourselves another portal. Okay, so next tip is to always wait for everything to load. And if you feel comfortable coming out. The nether is not a friendly place. So we're just going to peek around here. This is another good time for a screenshot. Screenshot your nether portal so you know where it is. We're just going to peek around, see if we can't... Oh, bizarre lighting issue. Strange. There we go, that fixed itself. I'm not seeing another fortress anywhere nearby. Okay, I'm going to keep looking. I'll get back with you guys. Aha! I have found one. A nether fortress. So we are well on our way, folks. This is going to be really, really an asset to us. So, I didn't go very far from my nether portal. It's it's back there somewhere um so i'm just gonna keep heading here i'm gonna remember that i'm heading south to get here so when i want to get back i need to head north and worst case scenario i do have that screenshot handy with the coordinates up um so let's check this out and we do want to be careful with these nether fortresses because um the tall death skeletons wither skeletons they can come at us and be rather scary. Oh, there's one. Oh, and a blaze. Okay. All right. I mean, I shouldn't be scared. I've handled this before. I obviously have the blaze's attention already. I'm luring him over here. Break line of sight. Okay, here we go. We're going to take him down. And we have a ghast to keep us company. That's just great. Stay focused. Stay focused. No blaze rod. Oh my god, Ghast, really? Alright. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, there's two of them! Where'd you come from? Come on. Get him! Yeah, return to sender. I didn't even have it because I didn't have the previous achievement. But that's how you do return to sender. Uh, you don't even need it. You can just use your... You can use potatoes for all I care. Okay, we got wither skeletons. Gotta be careful about them. Obtaining wither skulls would not be a bad idea. God, I really did not want to do that. Okay, so we're going to try to get out of the open air. There we go. Oh, oh, hey! There we are. Yes, blaze rod! We only really needed one, but I wouldn't mind getting a few others. This is always a recipe for disaster when you uh, get greedy. I got a hunch there is a spawner not very far from me. Uh, okay. The other thing about nether fortresses is when you find one, 
Mm, be careful about spawners. They have these chests. This is what I wanted to get to. Uh, the chests are filled with fairly valuable loots. There's some gold and gold horse armor. They're pretty prolific about the horse armor in these things. Oh boy. Um, shift. Hold shift. One, two, three. That's stairs. I don't think that helped me at all. <laughs> uh, still going to look around here a little bit more. Even though I'm kind of scared. Yep, another chest. There we go. Ah, uh, see, I'm really hoping for diamonds, to be honest with you, uh, in one of these, because that'd be nice. Be the cheap way of getting diamonds. I didn't loot this one, but I got another wart, so that's nice. All right, I'm not gonna push it. Um, I got some stuff. I was kind of hoping to find diamonds in here. All right, we got what we came for. I'm gonna head back uh, to my Nether portal, get back into the overworld, and we're gonna get ourselves an Ender, an Eye of Ender. Okay, we are back. I tell you, this stuff's so exciting. Um, we did manage to come back with quite a lot of stuff. So, let me consult my sheet here. Um, the, as we said, the reason why we've gotten to this point uh, is because um, the easiest way to find a stronghold, uh, which is our end goal, or not necessarily our end goal, but our biggest main goal early on is to find a stronghold which contains the end portal. Um, in order to find the end portal, we need Eye of Ender. That's the easiest way to find it. So in order to do that, we needed Ender Pearls and Blaze Powder. So we uh, we got Ender Pearls from killing an Enderman. We got Blaze Rod from killing um, a, uh, a, a Blaze, and we can use this to craft... I don't know if this is shapeless. It is shapeless. There we go. So now we have Eye of Ender. So that's pretty important. Okay. Um... So now we have Eye of Enderman, or Eye of Ender. Uh, but for those of you who weren't paying attention, basically Endermen spawn in the overworld. We were able to kill one of those and get a uh, an Ender Pearl. And Blaze Rod are only dropped by Blazes. We were able to get into the Nether, uh, find another fortress, which is where they spawn, and kill the Blazes. So that's a difficult thing. Um, but hopefully you guys will be able to find another fortress of your own. Um, for those that don't know. Uh, Nether fortresses in the Nether basically spawn fairly regularly in north-south lines. Um, so if you aren't finding any heading east and west, shift a little bit more north and south or whatever, and don't really go too much further than a few hundred blocks in the Nether. So once you make your Nether fortress, there should be one at least, oh, I'd say no more than 300 blocks from... Uh, from that nether portal that you've made. If it's worst case scenario, it's gonna be at that outer edge of like 300, maybe 400. And that's gonna be frustrating, but sometimes you get lucky and they're no more than like 50 or 100 blocks away. Sometimes they're right next to the portal. So that makes it easy. So find yourself another fortress when you get in another. Find yourself some blazes. Be prepared for a good fight and uh, take out some of those to get blaze, blaze rod. And then you'll be in the position that I'm in right here. Now, we uh, talked about uh, the two different methods for uh, creating another fortress, and that was the uh, cheat method, which involves buckets and placing buckets like we did. And then there's the difficult method, where uh, the brute force method, really, where you have to find diamonds, then mine out obsidian, and then place the obsidian blocks wherever you want them. Uh, both methods require you basically getting deep down into the world. Uh, not necessarily speaking, but yeah, it's much easier to come across lava um, at level 12 in the world. You'll find a lot more lava systems. So you want to find a cave system down near bedrock between layers 0 and 16, not only to find diamonds, but potentially find water flowing over pools of lava, also having pools of lava so that if you want to just do the bucket method, you can do that. In other words, if you're trying to get to the point where I'm at right now, um, Find a deep cave system, try to find diamonds. If you can't find diamonds, get enough iron to get some buckets and get into the nether. And that's about it.